America. I'm Greg Gutfeld along with Kimberly Guilfoyle, Bob Beckel, David Webb, and Jetta Diabila. This is The Five. UK Prime Minister David Cameron just upped the terror threat level to severe. I bet he's not clear about the source of the threat that we face. Let's be clear about the source of the threat that we face. The terrorist threat was not created by the Iraq <laughs> war 10 years ago. It existed even before the horrific attacks on 9-11 themselves some time before the Iraq war. The root cause of this threat to our security is quite clear. It is a poisonous ideology of Islamist extremism. I was wrong. He's as clear as Obama's schedule during golf season. Now compare and contrast Cameron to this. Before getting okay. to the strategy, though, there seems a fundamental existential question. Is the United States presently a war with ISIS? Yes or no? Well, uh, no, Chris. Mm -hmm. The battle of the betas. So we're not at war with a group that's at war with us. Is it because we're at war with other stuff like coal, fracking, or obesity? No lie, right now the White House is giving free advice on packing your kid's school lunch. I get the gist of nutrition, but I can make a sandwich. I can't make a B2 bomber. I can nuke a burrito, but I can't nuke ISIS. That's your job, Mr. President. But you seem at war with so many other things, climate, carbs, caddies, which is why as an enemy chooses us, you choose a wedge. This indec indecision makes Hamlet look resolute. The fallout, while ISIS explodes, we ground our planes, Blackhawks, and delay our nukes. According to writer Matthew Contineni, the percentage of the economy devoted to defense is at pre-9-11 levels. We're turning from a lion to a lamb. The big stick, now a carrot stick. But when you have a White House more interested in tofu than terror, it's no surprise defense suffers. Perhaps Obama's best strategy is to beat holiday traffic for Martha's Vineyard. Because his ISIS strategy reeks, because his priorities reek, confronting radical Islam was never on his to-do list. If only they were Republicans. There's a plan. What if we hypnotize the president into thinking ISIS is the Tea Party? He'd nuke the whole lot of them. Bob, gratuitous golf jokes in there, I admit it, uh -huh. off the bat. Uh, I did that especially for you. What did you make of David Cameron's strong words in comparison to President Obama. Obviously, that's the setup here. Yeah, that's obviously, so I don't know where to begin on that monologue. <laughs> but no, you've got to I, admit, strong no, guy. Yeah, listen, Cameron, I, I liked Cameron because he was the first world leader to come out when the Muslims were killing Christians. Everybody else was afraid to say anything about it, and he was the first one out, and he took a lot of courage. You did say that. I did, that's yeah. right. And I, But also, this look, it's a British guy who, did, who, yeah. who, who uh, killed the journalist, so I think Cameron feels much more exposed. Now, Obama... In, in the, and I'll say this one time, and you can argue with me all you want. If you look at the context, what he said was, on the serious side of things, he said, we are working on a strategy, but we haven't gotten there. We don't have a strategy. Right. Now, it's the wrong choice of words. Right. But nonetheless, the Syrian issue has not been resolved yet. They're debating internally. It will be. I think they'll bomb next week. But when he said that, I think I would have been clearer about that right. than he was. And so that's the cause of the problem. That and the five, <laughs> and you guys jumped on it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, yes. When President Obama saw David Cameron speak, did he, did he just kind of shrink a little bit and go, all right, that's what I should have done, or that's a little bit much? Yeah, he, thought he was probably doing what I was doing, crying for his mom, because, you know, that's tough. And then when you hear David Cameron giving the speech that President Obama should have given yesterday, that is tough to take. I, I think even him, you know, listening, watching to the speech, he sees the juxtaposition. David Cameron gets that this threat is real, that it is imminent. For some reason, we haven't arrived at that conclusion yet. Mm -hmm. And however, keep in mind that the British rarely panic, so they must have some serious, credible right. intelligence that there is an imminent and th uh, severe threat that they have to address. And if he's right, then what's going to happen? Obama, what's he going to do? Blame it on a video? I mean, he's going to have another Benghazi on his hands. Yeah, their upper yeah. lip is always stiff. Not in this case. Josh Ernest, David Webb, Josh Ernest said, we are not at war. I guess, I mean, literally, he's right, but... We are at war, aren't we? Was he right to say that? I, I missed the part where shooting at each other <laughs> is, is not a war. Yes. I, I suppose Chicago's a peace rally in black-on-black -black crime. Look, the, Josh Ernest is the White House liar-in-chief. That's pretty much what I call him. He goes out, he pushes out whatever they want to push. The facts be damned. Here's what Cameron didn't do. He didn't blame Bush. Notice he very clearly said yeah. 
This didn't start in Iraq. This is an ideology that's been around for over a thousand years, and it's ongoing march. It's just, this is its third iteration, the big rise of Islam. And by the way, I'm not going to ever beat Greg Gutfeld in a joke, but Obama talks mean, talks big, and he carries a putter, and I'm just going to leave it at that. All right. I thought you were going to say <laughs> oh. I know, Bob. That's now four. All right, that's our limit for today. I had to get one more golf joke. No more golf jokes. Uh, uh, Jedediah, yeah. uh, is it? Uh, most Americans, don't, would, wouldn't they prefer uh, maybe a stress-free foreign policy over maybe a stress-free packed lunch? Yeah, I mean, well, and, and look look at all the stress we're going to have, because ultimately what's going to happen is this stuff's going to wind up on our doorstep. That's the difference. I think Cameron was saying, you know what, we got to deal with this now. We have to call terrorism what it is, because otherwise this winds up on our doorstep, something that our people have to deal with, so enough with the shenanigans. And for me, it was just, it, it, it illustrated the crisis of leadership we have in this country mm -hmm. right now. We have a president that will not face what's happening and face that this could be an enormous consequence for this country, could be very dangerous unless he starts taking action, and he's up there talking about how he doesn't but have let's talk, let's talk about action. Wait, 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 wait a second. Before we say, before he starts taking action, we've been dropping bombs over there for the last. Yeah, he's, said, he's, he's declaring that he doesn't have a strategy. The no, 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 no. This is wrong. That's somebody said. He said Syria didn't have. Okay, he didn't have a strategy in Syria. So what does that say to everybody, Bob? Well, what does that I, say it, about our president? I said it president? was a bad choice of words, but the fact is they haven't concluded a strategy. Okay. Well, they they so did you their own things. you disclose that to everybody. They, you just disclose that to all of your enemies that you haven't concluded what the strategy should be. That's one of the weakest. You know, there's dangerous people that listen to. That talk. Yeah, There's I, leaders of ISIS that I, are well I'll give organized, on well funded, I, that are listening to our president. I tried to, to get this president. conversation yesterday. This ideology goes back a thousand years, and they also dumped the Saudi uh, kingdom. Now the Saudis are deciding whether they want to fight these guys or not. And I think the Saudis are going to come in on the side of, of, uh, of us. Yeah, but you know, you talk about action. Here's what Britain's doing, and here's what Cameron's doing. They're going to rescind the passports. Which is important. All, you have 3,000 terrorists mm -hmm. fighting for ISIS that you need to keep out of Europe. And here's why it's important. Yep. If you get to Europe, you can come to America. We have right. friendly relations. That's the problem. With passports. Right. So the 300 or so Americans, and by the way, let's keep killing the American terrorists who go over there. Find the Somalis that are missing in this country that are over there. Kill them all. And then when it comes to the ones that come through Europe, right. stop them there because... If they get that passport and they get through, they, they, get they the come passport. here. I think it's. I think it's a. And I. I, I think, well, they've got them. The three thousand yeah. that have them, yeah, they go home to Great Britain and then they turn around and fly. But in. here's the good news: we got all the bad guys in one place uh, at one exactly. time. Exactly. Exactly. That's why I think. So Cameron, why should we hesitate? Yeah. I mean, come we're, on! We're, it's like one big <laughs> fat roach motel. Just knock it out, okay? That's there's, the problem. There's, when there's, you have this kind of opportunity, food. you can't hesitate they're not hesitating that's all we're saying believe me bob when well, i sit look, here and i tell you that i want our president to win that i want him to make decisive actions against isis and not be politically naive when it comes to this situation or wait too long to get polls or to do wind checking to see but, what's going to happen with his constituents he knows the right thing to do wait a minute we're, we're, dro we're dropping thousands of tons of bombs a day look the 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 spokesman for the free syrian army said it best he said dropping bombs and airstrikes against ISIS is like tickling them. Not that's what they it's said. Not, that's, it's not going that's what they to, said in the Balkans and they beat them. Right, it, actually, right, that it's problem, not, it's they're not just enough. shifted. Here's the problem. You're, you're going to have to take out Mosul with house-to-house -house fighting. Yeah. We're going to have to send in our special forces to train the Pashmerga to get them to fight. The Iraqi army's a mess. We're going to have to work to train them up. We're going to need contract. We're going to yeah. need operators. We're going to need intelligence. We've decimated our human intelligence network over there. We're finally starting to rebuild it, but you're not going to do this with airstrikes. And all we've done. And you need to when take it comes out the, the command mountain. structure. Well, as and when well. it comes to the mountain. Mm -hmm. hey, how, right? about, how about all the $200 million dollars you know, we spent to train this Iraqi army? Oh, you know what? If we'd have stayed there and we'd have stayed no, no, in Iraq. No, 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 no. And we, we trained an Iraqi army of 100,000 people. Yeah, and, you what know, and, you, and you know what we didn't do? They Bob? ran. And you know what we didn't but Bob, do? Bob, you know what? We didn't, just... Well, hang on. We didn't build an officer corps. We didn't build what's needed to sustain an army. So you get top-level, basically, generals, and you get foot soldiers. You don't have a structure that maintains an that army. Has something to do with doing away with the army when we got in there? It, it has. Well, the army put down their guns and ran away when we got no, there. No, I'm talking about when we first invaded. We, got, we disbanded the army, didn't we? That, who was that yeah, guy with his... Yeah. I don't think David knows what he's talking about. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> very clear, very clear. I want to, I, I'm going to ask uh, uh, Jedediah, though, because this is part of the, uh, the monologue idea. We're not rebuilding our military. We're mm -hmm. unbuilding it. Is it yeah. time to, it's, to reassess and to, and to turn this thing around? 